is Bill, and I'll be your ghost hunter. Now everybody is looking for their 15 minutes of fame. Everybody, even ghosts. And when it happens, I hope to be there with my video camera to catch it on tape for your viewing pleasure. And I'll be working every day except the three days that celebrate Halloween. So long. Hope you enjoy. Halloween. Every year at the same time, millions of people around the world put up decorations, carve pumpkins, dress in costumes, and collect candy door to door. All in celebration of a nearly 2,000 year old three day holiday, which has roots steeped in religion and a rich pagan tradition. Halloween was once a three day celebration. It consisted of All Saints Day on November 1st. Later, All Souls Day was added with a big feast. That was on November 2nd. Finally, the night prior to All Saints Day was included to honor the dead. All Saints Day was known as All Hallows, and the night before was All Hallows Eve. The entire three-day event was called Hallowmas. Carved out candle-lit turnips sat atop gate posts to ward off evil spirits. Hearth fires were lit and soul cakes were baked and stacked by the front door. The town's poor came begging, offering prayers for the dead in return for soul cake. Church members dressed as saints, angels, and the devil. Where pagan tradition included parading costumed ghosts all the way to the village limits. So there you have it, a quick rundown of Halloween's haunted history. Today Halloween has become the second biggest holiday. Why do we put out pretend ghouls, ghosts, and goblins when there are so many real ones who walk among us every night? It's a mystery. And I love a good mystery almost as much as I love ghost hunting.